This is Chris Elliott with Remax Action Real Estate with your 2019 market forecast. I uh, hope you are having a great year so far. Hope you had a wonderful Christmas. Hope you had a great New Year's. And I wanted to, to connect with you real quickly today just to give you a little bit of insight at what we're looking at for the coming year. So uh, I am basing this video off of an amazing article that I'll link up below this video. Uh, from the National Association of Realtors. It was basically a, a condensed version of Lawrence Young's uh, 2019 economic and housing forecast. Uh, Lawrence Young is the chief economist for the National Association of Realtors. Really smart guy, really well-respected guy within the space. Um, I've got a bachelor's degree in, in economics. He's got a PhD, so much smarter than me. Uh, but what I'm gonna do for you guys is kind of give you the cliff notes uh, of, of what his presentation was. So a couple things. Uh, home prices are scheduled to continue to rise, uh, but the appreciation rate is going to slow down a little bit. Within the greater Richmond area, we've been seeing about a 5% appreciation rate per year, which is higher than normal. Um, and homes have been appreciating at a pretty good clip. Uh, that is projected just to slow down a little bit, and we're projected to, to be looking more like a normal market. So we're going to see 2 to 3% appreciation rates uh, across the country, uh, which is what is projected. Um, as you may have seen in the news, interest rates have ticked up a little bit, so that's going to affect us uh, a slight bit. Uh, a buyer's afford affordability has gone down a little bit just because interest rates have gone from four to four and a half to now we're looking at five percent, more than likely going to be at five and a half percent by the end of this year at a prime rate. Uh, a couple of good things. Um, you know, we've had some great growth. Uh, the real estate market's been amazing over the last couple of years. Um, some people that makes them nervous just because they've lived through 2004, 5, 6, and 7. Um, as opposed to, to that period of time, what everybody is saying is that we're growing on solid fundamentals. So uh, we're not growing on loose mortgages. We're not growing on overbuilding. Um, new construction is still well under uh, the need. So new construction is underproducing um, according to the housing uh, demands versus overproducing. So they've still got a little uh, catching up to do. We're at historically low foreclosure rates. So it seems like people have kind of learned their lesson or, or at least remember uh, what happened in 2007 and 8. And they're being a little more cautious with their money. And also the banks have tightened up or, or lending restrictions have tightened up. So we're not seeing some of those crazy mortgages that we were. So we're growing on solid fundamentals. Um, and they're projecting that the number of transactions is going to stay about 1% um, or going to be about 1% higher than what it was in 2018. So all that being said, what does that mean to you? Uh, if you're somebody that's looking to sell your property, uh, the, the getting's still good. So we're, we're still looking good. Uh, once again, home prices are going to continue to rise, but we're, they're not going to rise at the, the rapid rate that we've been seeing over the last couple of years. Um, so we're, it's not going to be as frothy as it was um, over the last couple of years. We might not see as many competitive bidding situations, um, certain price points, the lower price points, it'll probably still be there. But we are starting to see the higher end market soften up a little bit. And then for buyers, um, you know, your affordability ha has taken a little bit of a, a kick in the pants uh, just because your, your, uh, your interest rates has ticked up a little bit. Uh, but if you talk to anybody with some gray hairs, they'll tell you that even at 5%, even at 6%, um, it's still very historically low mortgage interest rates. It's, it's still very cheap money. Um, and what everybody is saying is that once buyers kind of just get used to the sticker shock or, or get over the sticker shock rather, uh, that 5% mortgage rate will just become the new norm and, and people just come to expect it. And it won't really prohibit anybody from, from buying. Uh, if you're a once again, if you're a buyer, um, it's going to be a little easier for you going out shopping for homes because you're probably still going to be competing with other buyers, but you're not going to be competing as with many people uh, as, you, as you've had to do in the last couple of years. Anybody that's been out there shopping that either found a home or just got frustrated with the process will tell you that uh, it's been tough for buyers out there the, these last couple of years. Should be a little easier going into 2019. So. I hope that helps. I hope you guys have an amazing 2019. Certainly, if I can help you with any of your real estate needs, feel free to contact me and uh, make it a great year.